Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can animate this stack of falling books with a little bounce when they land. Uh, so yeah, here we go into After Effects where I have these multiple layers. I have my shadow layer here at the bottom. I'm gonna lock that and then my background's purple. My book one, two, three and four and I just gave them this little color for convenience sake. And I'm going to wanna bounce them from their uh, corner. So first I'm going to put the anchor point at the right uh, position. So I'm gonna select this little anchor point here and I'm gonna put it right there. So if I rotate it now, it rotates from that point. Cool, and we're gonna do the same thing over here. Put the anchor point right there. And just where it touches the bottom, the book beneath it. Okay. Yeah, nice. Okay, and this as well. Great. So that's step one. Uh, let's just turn. No, let's go here. And a few seconds in, uh, pre press P on the keyboard for position. I'm going to click once to uh, select to make a keyframe because this is the end position for all the books. So I'm going to, I want to remember that. So I'm going to go back in time here and I'm going to drag all these layers up. Right about there, not to the not to the edge of the screen, but just a little a little bit up, so we have some room here. All right, so now they are all moving in. That's great. And the way they should be moving in is they're gonna need to fall fast and then suddenly stop, all of a sudden. So they don't don't need an easing at the end. So if I'm going to easy ease this, uh, I'm going to select this point and wanna um, I actually wanna drag that point up. Um, Let's just do it with this one. Um, if I'm gonna drag this point here, something like, whoops, something like this. I wanna do this. So it, wait, let's just turn these off. So it kind of, poof, it pops in. And I'm gonna use flow for this. So we're gonna get all of these at the same way. I have flow, I have this, Plugin, and then we're going to go with quint in. So hit apply, and then you can see that it it's now it's perfectly like that. Boom, really fast. It doesn't look really good right now, but it's going to change in a while. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to turn these three books off. So now we only have this one that lands fine, and I'm going to all uh, right press R on my keyboard to open the rotation tool. And with, with rotation, I'm gonna click on the uh, stopwatch here. I'm gonna go back a little bit and I want it, when it's up here, whoops, it can like already be a bit like that. So let's say, uh, let's say 20. It's gonna go down, open the position as well. And then let's say that's one, two, three, fr three frames when it landed. I'm gonna put it at four. So here it's zero because now it's just perfectly flat. Then four to make it turn a little bit up. One, two, three frames again, back to zero. Three frames again, back to one. There's a little, little, little bounce over there. And one, two, three frames to zero again. I'm gonna select these and just give this a normal easy ease. And let's see how this looks. All right. Kind of nice. Maybe if I just drag these in like one frame, maybe. Yeah, even better. Boom. All right, cool. So that's it. That's the one, one book. And I'm gonna do the same with all the other books. I'm gonna open them all up. Go to this point because this is the uh, zero point. I'm gonna go to rotation. Click on there, and then right here. Let's see. This book needs to go four, but I think it's minus four. No. It's also four. Hello, like that. Yeah, minus four. Ah, there you go. And this one, then again four, I guess. And this one also minus four because it's going the op opposite direction. Then give all of them um, zero again. Yep, and then all of them one. So this one will be minus one. This one is one and minus one again. And then of course, 
zero, zero, and zero. All right. Mm, and this one was 20, I believe. Yeah, just like that. Okay, so I'm going to go here. And this one needs to be up like that. So that's minus 20. And this one needs to go here. So that's plus 20. And then this also minus 20. And select them all and E the E's. All right, so now they all, yeah. But I'm gonna do, let's see, cut them off first, go to position and cut these layers off where they begin. And I'm going to just have them start a bit later. All right. Maybe a bit earlier, this one, just play with it, playing with the timing here. Yeah, cool. All right, then I'm going to animate the shadow. Mm, so when it drops, it kind of needs to go, it needs to be full. So uh, uh, hit a, a T on your stop on your keyboard to open the opacity. And then I'm going to click here to create a 100, at 100% 100 a, a stopwatch, a keyframe, and then just go back where it's out of the screen and make that zero. Kind of like that. Yeah. Nice. All right. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. And now they are all animating in. Cut them off right there just to keep it clean. One, two, three, four. And now I want to slide them all off screen, but I don't want them to go all at the same time because what I can do is I can just parent all of them to the shadow and then just animate the shadow out of here and then goodbye, they're all out and you can loop it. But it's an easy way out. I don't want to do that. We're going to give them all our a different, uh, their own position keyframe. So position right there the shadow as well and then i'm going to drag them all out like that and i'm going to give this one mm, this curve apply yeah but now i'm going to offset them a little bit so these ones can be the same but this one just one frame over maybe this one as well this one as well So now it kind of looks like the top because they are lighter or something that they, yeah, like that, nice. Just to give them a bit more, it's a bit more interesting. All right, cool. Yeah, looks better. And then right here, press N. And now this one will just make them a bit earlier. So now we have a little loop here. When it's out of the frame, just like there, right there. Nice. I'm just not happy with this. Um, when they are falling in, they are kind of too fast or something. Like pop, pop, pop. especially the top ones are too fast. So let's go to a middle, maybe the cube in. Yeah, like that, way better. A little, a bit more slow, a bit more character now. So let's, whoops, let's just drag them all in again. One out. Nice. Yeah, that's it. I like that one. So really easy, really basic, really quickly, creating some uh, books uh, falling on top of each, of each other with a little bouncing effect, and you just, it's the same bouncing effect on every book. Just offset them in a bit in timing and then it looks interesting uh, quite fast. So thanks for watching. I hope to see you on the next tutorial on Camp Keyframe. And uh, yeah, see you there. Thanks. Bye bye.